After completing the printer settings section of Epson Print Layout, move down to Layout Settings. Here you have different options for doing standard, or you can also do panoramas, gallery wraps, and templates. In this case, we're going standard. Orientation, portrait or landscape. Portrait is vertical, landscape is horizontal, and there's a scale to fit function. If you want the image to be maximized on the paper, click scale to fit, or make sure it's unclicked if you want to do something different. And you can actually go right into the image area and adjust it visually as to how it will print on the paper. Now in this case, it's currently on center, but I can put none and I can move the image anywhere I'd like in this image area based, of course, on the paper size that has been selected. You can also go by clicking vertical. This ensures that I can move the image left and right, in this case because it is a horizontal or landscape image. I can't move it up and down, but I can move it left and right, but it stays equidistant on top and bottom. And I can do the same in the other way. There's different applications depending on framing or signatures. You want something to be very exact and you have these options. If you have very specific measurements for a mat or for a frame, you would click none. I'm sure you're here on margins. And then each of these can be set separately depending on where you want to go and how you want to position the image on the paper. Now if you have a border or a margin and you would like to have a color printed, you would select here, in this case this would be black, click here and select any color or any tone for the margin. When bringing your images into Epson Print Layout, many will want to ensure that the aspect ratio of the image, the height and the width, uh, does not change because that was predetermined and you can just click lock aspect ratio and you can move the image around and you don't have to worry about the image cropping in any way. But you do have the ability to unlock the aspect ratio. If for some reason you want to bring the images in, it will crop the image. But sometimes you just need that extra quarter of an inch to make a certain paper size or a certain margin.